So this morning we've got some incredibly exciting news. We had suspected that the Michelle, the female, was denning and initially from where we had found her to have her cubs we couldn't get a vehicle in there or have any view of it and over checking there a couple of times we determined that she was no longer keeping the cubs there so we've gone around and checked a few of the Tatawa females old den sites and this morning on the odd chance of just seeing if she might be here going on a slight little hunch we managed to find her and if you look carefully you'll see her in the background over there just resting and she's been keeping the cubs in these boulders over here. These cubs are probably around the age of three to four weeks old. Uh, very small, very nervous and skittish. You can see one of them is a lot more nervous than the other. Anytime we would move or make a sound or the shutter of a camera go off, it would lift its head and often scuttle back down into the den. But this is a phenomenal den for her to be using. There's a lot of little nooks and crannies for these cubs to be hiding in. And so if there is any danger or threat that approaches, they'll be able to get away pretty safely. So it's amazing to be able to spend some more time with the Mishaba female and have her reveal her most recent litter of cubs to us. The last litter she raised successfully was the Shimungwe female who was born in 2015. She's about 14 years old now and the chances of her raising cubs as she gets older and older are going to be more difficult. And so, forgive our indulgence, we're actually going to sit here and just enjoy some time with the Mishaba female and her most recent litter of cubs.
they're just finding their feet, they're becoming a little bit more comfortable with moving around and climbing up the rocks. They love playing with her tail, that's often a game for them. It's helping teach them the skills to be able to grapple and, and wrestle and play around. It's just great to finally be able to get a view of the Mashaba female's cubs, to know that they're doing all right. But what an incredible morning, and just by sitting here dead quiet, you can see how their confidence and trust in the vehicle has grown drastically from when we first arrived to when they came out. Their mother called them in a soft contact call that then brought them out knowing that their mother was happy and comfortable and they were then able to be comfortable and come out. So as she got up there, she climbed up over the rocks and then now slunk off into the distance down there. So we presume that she's had her time here at the den. She's moving on to go and rest or possibly even hunt. With your mother moving on, we don't want to sit here for too much longer. Let's follow her and see where she goes. So this is phenomenal news that we've managed to find the den and the Mashaba females had yet another litter of cubs. We will try and exercise a little bit of caution around this den because the cubs are so nervous and they're still pretty young. They haven't had too much exposure to vehicles. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll have at least one vehicle come and check every now and then just to make sure that they're still here, they haven't moved in and that they're still doing all right. But we try to follow the Mashaba female, but it seems as though she might have dropped down into this thick, rocky, dry riverbed down here and so we won't be able to follow her there. We'll check the other side if we don't have any luck. We'll probably start heading back towards camp. So this is quite complicated. I'm trying to hold the torch and film myself because behind us here, we're out of the vehicle and we've got a pangolin in the grass. It's a very, very rare nocturnal animal to see, one that we don't ever really get to see too often. They'll come out at night and roam around trying to feed on any ants or termites. We've just had a bout of recent rain, so that's going to cause the insects to be abundant. And so normally if pangolin are stressed or worried or under pressure, they'll roll themselves up into a ball which helps conceal all their valuable vital parts such as their face, their underbelly, and they've got very long claws which they use to then dig into termite mounds and underground to try and get some food. And so you can see this one's opened up, it's revealed its head, it's open completely flat out there. So it just shows that it is relaxed and comfortable with our presence being here. but we don't want to put it under too much pressure, so we're probably going to leave it. But what a phenomenal sighting to end off the day.